Hello students, so today we're going to be working on lab 3.4 and this is all about global variables. So if I'm going off the prompt in the lab, the first thing we need to do is set a global variable called my num, and you can simply do this just by calling the keyword global and then naming your variable. And this is going to allow us to um, use this global variable within the scope of several functions, but you can see there's some caveats to it and we'll get into those as we go along. The second thing we need to do is make a function and this is called add to and add to is going to take no arguments and it is simply going to give us my new it's going to basically add to my new but the way that we do that is first in order to use this variable in the scope of a global variable and not just the local one that's inside of this function we need to actually say global even inside of the function itself and then of course just to do some simple addition we just say my new is equal to my new plus two one thing i do want to highlight is that uh, throughout the course of your learning you'll learn that there's a lot better ways to increment stuff and add a variable to itself. But for now, in the scope of my class, we're just going to kind of leave this statement as it is. So the next thing we need to do, and this is part of the three functions we need to create for this program, is we need to create a multiply num function that is going to be also used in add to and multiply, uh, which is another function as well. So here we're going to say multiply, or I'm sorry, def, and then we're going to say uh, multiply um, new and that's the name and then it takes in a variable called multiplier and again that's how you give a, or a function an argument simply by declaring it right there after you name the function so inside of here again the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure we are actually using my num in a um, global way we need to define that keyword and we're going to basically say that my num is equal to my num uh, times our multiplier and so you go down I press tab when those keywords pop up and it allows me to do some really nice autocomplete that makes my programs a lot easier to make so the next thing that we're gonna do after that is we're gonna do another function which is just simply kind of the combination of the two we just made so we need to make a function called add to and multiply it's actually gonna take in a multiplier a lot like the function we just made and I'm simply just gonna copy and paste that and what it's going to do is it's going to first we need to make sure we call my name as a global variable, add a return statement here just to keep it there. And then we are going to simply call add to, and we are going to call multiply num, and we're going to pass it that same multiplier keyword right here. And that's pretty much all there is to it, right? So we need to create all those, but of course, the second part of our lab is we need to actually test that, right? So again, we have our nice handy dandy little if statement. That allows us to check if our code is being run as a primary file. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. That is if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main. And then here I am going to simply uh, first I'm going to declare my variable. So I'm going to call it, you know, my num is equal to one. And then um, I'm going to actually just call my functions on it. So here I only need to call the add to and multiply function to it. And I believe my code should work right now. So you can see it is missing a, oh, yep, of course I need to give it a number. Here, I'm just going to give it the number two because I think that's rather simple. So basically what we'll do is we'll add two to my num and then we'll multiply it by two, right? So if I go ahead and click play, you can see it did nothing. I actually need to print my num. So here, if I print my num in this context, I believe it should be used as a global variable. So you can see here we... Um, basically declared my num is one we added two to it which made it three and then we multiplied it by two again and that gave us a return result of six right um this lab is rather simple if you were following along with me but this can definitely get more confusing if you're doing it by yourself right and that's for a few points that i just want to highlight real quick um, the first is when you are creating your global variable you need to define it either up here or outside the scope of your main function right here or any of the functions that you created. So even though we do say global my num, that only really calls it from outside the function. That calls this global variable I've created, right? So um, a mistake I made earlier is basically creating the global variable right here, my num, which is actually incorrect. We can't declare it inside the scope of this main statement right here, right? And that's what we're talking about in this in this lesson is scoping and aliasing. We need to declare it up here and then we need to call global each time we decide to use it. So that links it to this global variable right here and that allows me to actually interact with it. And then actually, once I call that global variable name, I can actually use that 
inside of my different programs and that actually modifies it. And that's the same reason I try to call it right here, just to make sure nothing goes wrong inside of my different functions, right? Um, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward, but you can get tripped up on it. So that, folks, is lesson 3.4, aliasing and scope. Thank you guys very much for joining.